Hi, this is a nice question just to practice your differentiation. What we have here is y equals 5x cubed minus 6x to the power 4 thirds plus 2x minus 3. And we've got to find in the first part dy by dx, giving each term in its simplest form. And then for part b, find the second differential d2y by dx squared. Now to differentiate something like this, we've got terms generally of the form y equals ax to the power n, where a is a constant. And we should be familiar with the result that if you differentiate any of these types of terms, the result is the constant a multiplied by n times x to the power n minus 1. You reduce the power by 1 there. OK, so this is the standard result you should be familiar with. So we've got the first three terms are of this format. So for part A, when it comes to differentiating this, I'm just going to copy the question out again. We've got y equals 5x cubed then minus 6x to the power 4 thirds plus 2x minus 3. So therefore, dy by dx will equal, well for the first term, it will be 5 multiplied by the power here, 5 times 3 which is 15, drop the power by 1 so that's x to the power 2, 15x squared. We come on to the next term, so it will be minus 6 times 4 thirds. I won't work this out just at this stage, we'll just put minus 6 times 4 thirds. Then I've got to take 1 off the power. So you've got 4 thirds here, take off one whole one or 3 thirds. So 4 thirds take away 3 thirds is 1 third. Then for 2x, when you've got a constant times x, then just the x goes. That would be 2. And when you've got a constant on its own, then dy by dx for the constant is 0. So essentially that's it, but we just do need to tidy this up. So 3 goes into the 6 here twice. So what we have got then is the first term, 15x squared. And then here we've got minus 2 times 4, so that's minus 8. Then you've got x to the power third, and then plus 2. Okay, so that is giving each term in its simplest form. It's up to you whether you want to change this though. Um, you could say that x to the power third is the cube root of x, but when I look at what they gave us here, you can see that they wrote this as x to the power four thirds, which is the same as the cube root of x all to the power four. But they didn't write that, so I'm just going to leave it in that form. Now for part b, we've got to find d2y by dx squared. That is essentially the result of differentiating dy by dx with respect to x. So again, if we take the first term here, 15x squared, and differentiate that, it's going to be 2 times the 15, which is 30. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the power 1, or just simply x. Then for the second term, we've got minus 8 times a third. I'll just write it in as minus 8 times a third for the moment, OK? Reduce the power of x by 1, and that's x to the power minus 2 thirds. And then for the constant, well, that's going to differentiate out. Clean this up, and you've got 30x minus, and 8 times a third is minus 8 thirds, x to the power minus 2 thirds. Again, it says give this in its simplest form, and that generally is reasonable. If you did want to take this further with this negative power, then what you can write is 30x minus 8 over 3, and that's 8 thirds multiplied by what is essentially 1 over x to the power 2 thirds. And if you multiply 8 thirds by 1 over x to the power 2 thirds, then you just get 8 over 3x to the power 2 thirds. But as I say, this is OK. If you want to, you can do this. You're not going to get any extra marks, though, for doing this. Well, there we go. That brings us now to the end of this question. And I hope that's sorted out any problems if you had them.